So this is the catamaran that we're rebuilding that motor for, that Yanmar. It's a 50 foot, uh, 27 foot wide. Come around front here. And about another month and a half it'll be all done and back in the water. It's got cabin space for 12 people, something like that. It's big. It's pretty. He'll do uh, dolphin tours in the Bahamas with it. And I think they have six guests then and then three crew members on board. And he'll but it's a beauty. There's the three pistons. Obviously the one on the right there is severely bent. Um, and the one on the left actually looks bent too. That does not look straight. Um, I, I think I would replace them all honestly, but this one is the winner. And the, the piston's even damaged. You can see, I showed it earlier, it was scored. Rusty. I don't see any scoring or anything. And this little Yanmar, we're rebuilding it here. We're slightly honing those cylinders out to get a little bit of rust. Hopefully, get the compression up in them. <laughs> we're working on this injection pump. Is probably the most critical thing right now. Um, we do have one of them. We're starting to move a little bit of through it, but those these lines were off of here. Um, and water got down in there, so we got, a little while ago none of them were doing anything, so we're making progress that one of them's starting to work. Just keep keep cleaning it out with some ATF. If I have to take it all apart, I'm sure I'll have to anyways. So I'm starting to get it freed up. You can see all that nasty shit coming out of there. Um, what I took was like a Allen head socket that's right about the right size so I can put it down in that and tap down on it to start moving that little piston up and down and then once I got the inside part down I need to lower the top part so I got a socket that goes in there and the socket fits on the top part and I can tap it just lightly with a screwdriver I'm not using a lot of force it's just it's not enough to you know friction is all that I need to overcome on that so it's it's getting cleaned out you can see all that rusty shit coming out of there and I got some Q-tips that I'm running on to clean it out too. Well now when I spin it over by hand, they're all at least moving a little bit of fuel. Let me get a battery. Let's pin it over fast with the starter. Let's see if I can get it to clear up a little bit. We're starting to make some progress. Did it squirt? Just out of the middle one. 